We know about her tonight, and Mississippi soldiers set to deploy overseas where they're heading. Plus, well-known local businessman Howard Miskelly featured in a new biography, what it includes. Around the region for tonight, we're seeing a few clouds pass by, but the real story is it's much warmer out there compared to 24 hours ago. Temperatures are anywhere between 10 to 15 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Tonight's lows will not be as cool, we're only dropping down into the upper 60s to lower 70s. And it looks like for Sunday, we've got a good chance of some showers and thunderstorms arriving. I'll have the full forecast coming up. New tonight, JPD investigating a car crash on I-55 near the Waterworks curb. Police tell us there were injuries, but we don't know the severity. The accident reconstruction team is on the scene investigating what happened. It happened just before 8 o'clock tonight. Traffic was backed up along I-55 south as crews worked to clear the scene. Tonight, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigations has issued an alert for a missing 13-year-old girl. They say Alyssa Monet Jones Brown was last seen Friday, late Friday night on West Street in Holly Springs. She suffers from a medical condition that could impair her judgment. She's 5'1", 132 pounds, and has two burn marks on her left leg. She was last seen wearing a blue T-shirt and underwear. Anyone with inf information on her whereabouts is asked to call Holly Springs Police at 662-252-2122. A three-year-old boy shot and killed at a Jackson apartment complex. It happened late last night. The Willow Point Apartments on Glen Cross Drive. Police tell us the child got a hold of a gun and shot himself. They say it's being ruled as a death pending as they continue to investigate this tragic shooting. Jackson police are out in force this weekend, this holiday weekend, cracking down on crime after a recent spike in violence. This past week, three people shot and killed in the capital city. The police command post now stationed on Mega Rivers Boulevard near Sunset Drive. That's where a man was gunned down on, at Sunset Plaza Apartments this week. Police also urging anyone throwing a holiday party to look out for their patrons' well-being. Past years have shown us that once the party starts and perhaps the alcohol gets to flowing, sometimes temper, uh, tempers will flare and that will escalate into uh, violence and that's what we're trying to prevent. Officers will be also be deployed throughout the city targeting speeders and drunk drivers. Also, the Mississippi Highway Patrol is busy this holiday Memorial Day weekend cracking down on dangerous drivers. Trooper Eric Henry tells us Officers have handed out just under 1,200 tickets throughout the state. There were 25 collisions, two of which were alcohol-related. Also, six drug arrests, two felony arrests, and 38 DUIs reported. As part of the holiday weekend enforcement, troopers are urging people to buckle up. No texting or drinking and driving. The enforcement period ends Monday at midnight. New details tonight on a deadly crash in Ocean Springs. Police say it involved a pickup truck and a bicycle along Highway 90. It happened around noon in the westbound lane of Washington Avenue. The victim's identity has not been released. Bass Pro Shops in Pearl hosted a teen dating violence prevention workshop today. The group called Butterflies by Grace, defined by faith, held a panel discussion and encouraged parents and their teens to talk about experiences and ways to prevent violence. We're talking about different types of issues that there are that we need to tackle with. We're talking about um, sex, we're talking about dating, we're talking about bullying, we're talking about uh, teen dating violence. So we're talking about all types of issues that the children are dealing with. And the panel was open and free to the public. Happening now, a major country star in the metro. That's Miranda Lambert performing at Renaissance in Ridgeland. It's all part of the Ceasefire concert series. The concert was sold out and is a local favorite. I hope so. I hope she does some entertaining, some fun dancing, and gets the crowd involved. As you can see there, 16 WAPT anchor and reporter Ali Ware was enjoying the music. Organizers say over 9,000 people are in, in attendance at the concert. B.B. King being remembered in a private memorial service in Las Vegas this afternoon. On Friday, a public service was held to honor the blues legend. The 89-year-old Mississippi native passed away in Las Vegas on May 14th due to complications from diabetes. His family members spoke after the service. We've lost our king, our backbone, 
We appreciate all the love and support that you all have gave us. Um, continue to pray for us in the upcoming days because this will be a hard journey for us as family. There will be another memorial service in Memphis next week before King is laid to rest in his native Indianola. And happening tomorrow, the B.B. King homeco Homecoming Festival. Now, last year, the B.B. King Festival planned homecoming performance. It was the last planned homecoming performance. This year's theme the festival is a tribute to the King. The free festival kicks off at 2 o'clock at the B.B. King Museum in Indianola, and it is free to the public to a deadly plane crash that killed a family on their way to Ole Miss graduation earlier this month. Tonight, dash cam video and air traffic control sound of the pilot's final words. We'd like to warn you, some of the video in this story may be graphic. Here's ABC's Karen Travers. Tonight, new video release showing a single engine plane crashing just two weeks ago into a busy Georgia highway. That out of control aircraft killing a family of four. Smoke erupting, and as a police vehicle pulls up to the crash site, the plane is engulfed in flames. Get back! Everyone get the f away from it! The pilot, Greg Bird, his two sons, and a son's fiance, en route to the University of Mississippi to see Bird's youngest son graduate. According to a newly released report from the NTSB, Bird told the control tower just two minutes after takeoff, I'm having some problem climbing here. The last contact he made was to say, we're going down here at the intersection. I heard an impact hit the front of my truck. I looked back to my left once I stopped the truck and that plane was up against the wall burning. The latest numbers show nearly 87% of aviation fatalities occurred in general aviation accidents involving small planes, gliders, balloons, and other aircraft. Officials say it's a miracle nobody on that Georgia highway was injured. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. A preliminary report from the National Transportation Safety Board says the plane crashed during a landing attempt. Their final report should be released in a few months. Jackson has lifted a string of boil water alerts. Those alerts affected Willow Bay Drive, Bay Point Cove, Treon Cove, and Bradford Cove. Remember, it takes two days to lift a boil water alert. And new tonight, state environmental officials have lifted a water contact advisory for Harrison County. The advisory had been issued because of bacterial levels along Gulfport, Gulfport's East Beach. A group of Mississippi National Guard soldiers honored before an overseas deployment. This is your soldiers from Philadelphia, Mississippi, going forward. Round of applause. took place this afternoon in Philadelphia for 15 guardsmen. They will first be heading off to Fort Hood, Texas, before a nine-month deployment to Afghanistan, Germany, and Kuwait. So we all are one. It is because of you that we can stand as a community this morning and rest assured and have some peace and comfort that there is not an enemy out there waiting for us. We thank you for what you do. Uh, the sky's the limit to what you all guys do every time. Um, we're just proud to be able to serve our country. And the soldier deploys while the family sacrifices. And we prepare for this the way that we prepare for everything else is through our faith in God. The soldiers are, are, are deployed as part of the 298th Support Battalion. Business magnate Howard Miss Kelly is the subject of a new book chronicling his life. He, of course, is the founder of Miss Kelly's Furniture. The book details his life dating back to his childhood in North Mississippi. Miss Kel uh, Kelly served in World War II. Tomorrow afternoon, he'll be at Barnes & Noble Bookstore in Ridgeland to meet with readers and autograph his book. He tells us about his life overseas in the military. I was in combat about eight months, seven days and nights a week. Now, a lot of them had reliefs, and uh, you'd see them every once in a while. I said, well, we had a rest period three weeks. I never got one, day and night. We fought down through uh, Belgium, Holland, and uh, up to the Elbe River, 35 miles from Berlin. Again, that book signing tomorrow afternoon from 1 to 3 at Barnes & Noble and, and Renaissance in Ridgeland. Guests will have a chance to meet Mr. Miskelly and author Mark Wyatt and have their book autographed by the pair. Visitors took in a new art exhibit at the Mississippi M Museum of Art honoring the First Lady of Southern Literature. The Eudora Wealthy Biennial celebrates the famed writer's life through a series of different forms of artwork. 
The exhibit uses photography and sculpture, quilting, and commentary by Jasmine Ward to explore Miss Welty's inspirations and the people who are inspired by her. There will be a dance party at the Welty House and Gardens on June 4th and other events and exhibits as part of the Welty event through June 3rd. A big crowd of out early this morning for the 5K in Ridgeland. It's all to help raise awareness of orphans. The event called 5K for the Fatherless was sponsored by 200 Million Flowers. The organization specializes in adoptions, recruiting, and training foster parents. Our goal is to help fill in the blank. There's about 800 new foster families that are needed. Creating the awareness about the children here in our town and in our state that need homes, that don't have parents, that come from broken homes. It's a wonderful, wonderful job that they're doing. All of the proceeds raised will help orphans find a home. Heavy rains continue to pound parts of Oklahoma and Texas tonight, the latest on the severe weather affecting that region. And if the system can affect Mississippi, plus a not guilty verdict for the Cleveland police officer who shot two unarmed people, the victim's families reacting tonight. We start off the holiday 